international stand-up comedy superstar and a walking hot topic. He calls himself, quote, a transgender guy. He's so outraged by politics that he may run for office and he recently completed 27 marathons in 27 days. Wow. I'm tired just thinking about it. Everyone, please welcome to Hot Topics, Eddie Izzard. We would ask if we could take a selfie. Are you comfortable or a Snapchat? Are you comfortable with any of that? I've got a lot of headlines, and uh, <laughs> and they want to go and visit someone. I, I wanted to talk about the headlines thing. Who did the, the measurement? Who was going around saying, now, headlines, no headlines? Who's checking for this? I don't know yeah. where that, it's that our information tax money. came from. It's not from. a nice first question. Do you have lice before you post? No, and I think <laughs> most of the people that I do selfies with uh, are non-lice people, and I try and make a non-lice audience. You know, it's one of my rules for the audience. Please, if you've got headlines, don't <laughs> come along with that. It's a sort of self-policing thing. But what are these lice doing? They're on one head and they say, come on, there's another head, let's go to the next head, come on. They like and they, to travel. They, they fly, they, what do they do? How do they jump? They have a little parachute? I don't, I know. don't know, we need a lice investigation. I think it we should get on that. much more investigation and finding out who came up with the thing in the first place. Can I just mention how fabulous your nails are right yeah. now? Amazing. This is like the it's most the amazing, nails. you need to show the audience. This is, puts my nails to the face. And I love the lips too. Ooh. I need to know that color. Um, but well, I, this is what I do. I run marathons, I, high heels and marathon running. This is the, these are the things I can do. <laughs> All um, very normal, right? Well, the 27 marathons was a tricky thing to do, but the last day, I had to go to hospital on day five, so I had to do two marathons on the last day. So, so. Um, what kind of oh marathons God. are they yeah. for? Is it for an uh, organization? It, it was for uh, sport relief uh, that happens now, I believe, over here, and it happens in, in the UK, and people donated. It was about over $3 million oh, by the end brilliant. of it. Oh, wow. Um, so. That's great. Wow. Fantastic. Yeah. What did you do to get ready for that? What I did to get ready for it, I put on shoes and started running. Really, I didn't Not do. Heels. I didn't do. No, it's it's you mainly can, oh. it's mainly a mental mm -hmm, thing. Yeah. If if you decide up here, anyone who wants to do this, they they should do it because it's good for your body. Um, all wild animals are healthy. They're all fit. Absolutely every single wild animal in the world, and we are natural animals. But we just think, oh, we should leave off as we get older. We should actually keep as active as we were as kids. So yeah. I, I just did that and also helped raise money at the same time. So you're telling people to go play Pokemon Go yeah. to walk around. No, no, well, no, no. no. Well, speaking of mental, I want to talk to you about politics because um, I know that you say that you are a British American, but you think like an American. Yep. Um, what a, a do you? British European. A British, think, a British European, I should say. You think like an American, but we're in the midst of an election here. I've got to ask, what do you think about our candidates, Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump? Well, I say vote for Hillary, don't vote for Donald. <laughs> okay, that was the thing. What are people in the UK? Sorry. I know, I know that you guys just went through this Brexit thing. What do, what do people in the UK think, I think about Donald Trump? I think people in the UK Trump? think vote for Hillary, don't vote for Donald. Okay. Uh, <laughs> That was vote for Hillary, don't vote for Donald. It's just Donald Trump said most outrageous, extreme things. I think obviously pandering to a certain base, and now he's going to try and drag it back to the center, probably after he, you know, he's officially coronated um, at, um, <laughs> you know, as the Republican candidate um, at the convention. But I just don't think you should be saying, I, you know, all, blaming all Muslim people and saying it's all of them. It's an extreme section of them. Very it's a small extreme. amount of people. They do these horrible things and they keep doing them. But blaming just a whole religion, a billion people in the world, it's just a crazy thing to do. So, you know, I, I believe we've got to be heading towards a world where everyone has a fair chance. I do, I perform my shows in French, I do them in German, I just started in Spanish, I run marathons, I try to raise money, I'm doing well for myself, I want everyone to do well. I'm a radical moderate. I do radical things with a moderate message. And that is the message I'm trying to put out. Yeah. And many, and you, you had voted to remain. Yeah, I, I campaigned to remain. And many people said they were shocked their votes actually counted. I know this is the weird thing that people about 1.2 million people the next day said, "Oh, I didn't know that was going to happen. I didn't know I was." It, it, you just think, what? You know, I want people to vote. I want to encourage people to use their vote, but do understand what's going on. And some people do not want to spend time looking at the issues, and they will go on some sort of emotional instinct rather than using their brain. Do you see parallels between what happened there and what could happen here? I do. I worry. I, do. I, I worry that it could happen over here. You, uh, we just, you know, it's most people in the world, I think, are center, center, left, center, right, around there. If we all suddenly rush off to the extremes and we can say extreme things, that's back to the 30s and 40s. We are, as humanity, we have to keep moving forwards and upwards, not backwards and down. We need to say, I'm proud of who I am. I'm proud of my country, but I'm still reaching out to other countries and saying, who are you? What do you do? Can we learn from you? Can you learn from us? Be positive about it, but don't run and hide. Don't pull off. Don't build walls. Don't run away and hide. We should be...
love about you, because I've always been a big fan, is that you never ran and hide. You always told us who you were, and you've been out as a transgender guy for 30 years now, yeah. and you know that America is going through some crazy things on that end as well. Yeah, I know, and uh, um, I, I do believe Donald Trump wants to remove all LGBT rights, and that seems crazy. We're moving, supposed to move forward as humanity. I've got an answer for the, the, the toilet, you have a whole toilet question thing. Just remove urinals from men's toilets, okay? It's a bit radical, this. You remove all urinals, then they're all- Urinals. Yeah, urinals. I've never heard of urinal. Yeah, we, I'm like, there's a rhino? I thought there was something what? else. You yeah, say right, leisure, we say leisure, you know, one of those things. Okay, so the urinals, as you call them. So you remove those, and so they're all cubicles. Then you you just make them all unisex, just like in a restaurant, you just go yeah. a unisex thing, and then everyone can use them. Women won't have to queue anymore. Women can go to anyone. Be, it'll it's all be sharing it, and all the problems disappear. Just remove the urinals, yeah. and then the whole question disappears out the window. I have a question. How was it coming out at that time? How was it coming out? It was out incredibly change? hard. In 1985, I didn't get any front covers. I didn't get anything. I think it's great that Caitlyn Jenner's done her thing, and a lot of activists, LGBT activists, have done things over the years, and, and so the profile is higher now. But back in 85, it was a tricky old thing. But I am sort of Special Forces civilian division. I just go out and do these. I did actually want to be in Special Forces when I was a kid. I was going to be in the Marines or the Paris and, and then try and get into that. Instead, I thought, no, I won't do that. I'll do this. I'll do my creative stuff. I'll do acting. I'll do drama. Aww. And I'll be honest, in, uh, in 1985, when I was 23, I thought, I'll come out and I will fight the fights. And people have abused me in the streets. They've fought me in the streets. Yes. They've wow. shot me. I don't know. I, I fight back. I, will, I took people to court. Um, someone was just back in London was, was abusing me in the streets. And so I, I reported him to the police. And so they made action about it. So against hate yeah. crimes. So you've got to stand tall. It's difficult because it's scary, but you've yeah. got to stand tall. Eddie, I want to talk to you about, you're, you're on your on tour right now, your Force Majeure yeah. tour. You've been on for three years. You're planning yeah. on doing shows on all 50 states. You've been in 28 countries. Yep. Do you have to tailor your jokes based on where you are? Do you feel you have to approach it differently? I know I actually try and do it that I, all the audiences, I assume they, they are smart and they're switched on. So I start off talking about human sacrifice and saying, what a crazy idea. Why did we ever think it was human sacrifice <laughs> was going to work? And if I do the show in Moscow, St. Petersburg, if I do it in Richmond, Virginia, if I do it in Los Angeles, at the Hollywood Bowl, they all get it. London gets it, Istanbul gets it. Yeah. So I assume the intelligence of my audience. My stuff's very silly, but very um, bright and smart and twisted. And it has lots of squirrels with guns and things like this. So it's, just, <laughs> it's very Monty Python. So, but people seem to dig it. 28 countries and counting. I'm still very Congratulations. Very congratulations. That's pretty awesome. Say congratulations. I know you've stayed true to yourself. Your tour is called Force Majeure, but you were a force to be reckoned with. Everyone, our thanks to Eddie Izzard, his comedy tour again. It is called Force Majeure. You can go to our website to find out when he's coming to a city near you. We'll be right back. Star Trek Beyond stars Zoe Saldana and Simon Pegg. Plus, it's summer chic for a steal when you view your deal. We partnered with vendors for up to 67% off hot items from head to toe. safe travels. We know you're heading back to L.A. after the show today. I am. I'm finishing up the season of Fuller House, so I'll be back in a bit. We always miss you when you're gone, and we do want to say thanks for joining us, everyone. As we always say at the end of the show, have a great day. Take a little time to enjoy the view, but Sarah wants to leave you with this final thought as you embark on your weekend. Poke smart.